Namaste from Deepesh. Hello to the wonderful Dynamics 365 and Power Platform community. We are going to continue Power Integration Volume 5. Today we are going to learn creating an absurd API for Dataverse in a very low code way using Power Automate. And then we are going to test it via Postman. So many a times in our Dynamics 365 or Power Platform implementations, we have the need to create an API, right, which will integrate using either Dynamics going to be consumer of the particular data or it is going to supply certain data, right? So we can learn today in a low code way how we can do it using Power Automate. Let's quickly get going, guys. So behind me, you have Postman opened up and we're going to start with Postman today. So if you are not technical in nature, what we use Postman for, this is basically used for testing API calls and we use it for integration scenarios whenever APIs are involved. So what I've done is there's a Postman API over here and that's the absurd kind of request for leads in Dataverse. So what this is expecting is four parameters, lead ID, city, last name and topic. I've included last name and topic because they're out of box required fields. And the idea is if the <coughs> lead ID is available in the particular data verse, then this should be a in update. Otherwise, it should be an insert, right? So just see, let's just see, this just looks like any other API, right? So I'm just going to send the request over here. So let's just call the request by send. And after some time, we are going to get an outcome out of it. So basically, this lead was created successfully. Let's quickly get to dynamics and see what happened. So if you see, behind me that lead l1005 was created in the dataverse or dynamics 365 for sales and the city was also there over here now let's try an absurd scenario now i'm going to use the same id but i want to trigger an update so i want to update this city from mumbai to bangalore so let's try go ahead and uh, do another postman call with the same id l1005 and see the outcome so here what I have gone and done is I have just uh, converted this particular city into Bangalore from the original one and then I am going to just trigger this in by clicking send. As I do it you can see lead updated successfully. Let's go back to dynamics and see what happened there. So here you can see behind me that the city is Mumbai. So I am just going to do a quick refresh to this page and after the refresh let's see what is the value on the particular city field this got updated to Bangalore right Bangalore so this is a very common scenario to handle absurd request to handle APIs like that leads are normally connected to your websites etc now this was not built in a code way this was built in a very low code way let's go ahead and see how this was built using the power automate and this is very useful for your integrations so as you can see this is the flow that triggered as a resultant of that postman call here we are looking for when HTTP request is received and in the JSON payload, you can go ahead and configure all the particular parameters. So I've gone in and configured lead ID, city, type, topic, and last name. Now, as soon as you save the flow for the first time with one trigger and one action, you're going to get this URL, which I have used in Postman, right? When you use it in Postman, what's going to happen is it is automatically going to take three parameters in, and then you can add your additional parameter one by one, right? Whatever is required. Then I have gone in and initialized a lead ID, a lead UID field, which I'm trying to get uh, as a resultant, which we are using for update scenarios. So I'm just initializing a variable lead UID. I'm also initializing a variable count of lead, which is initially set to zero. Then I'm going ahead and filtering all my leads. And then here I'm saying new underscore lead ID, which is a custom field that I created equal the lead ID. So this is trigger output to the queries from the HTTP receive. Uh, HTTP post received and then the lead ID, right? So in under queries tag, you will have the lead ID, which I'm triggering in basic, basically filtering the rows and getting only the particular lead ID that I want. Then there's a apply to each where I'm going ahead and setting the variable and also incrementing the variable by one. So if you only have unique lead ID, this is ever going to return the particular record once that is the assumption in this particular logic. Now I'm going ahead on the condition and just checking count is equal to zero. If no count is returned, then that's basically that's a new lead insert scenario, which uh, I will just uh, help you out, add a new lead, right? So basically if count of uh, that particular uh, loop is zero, that is basically meaning to say this is an insert scenario. And yes, I've gone in and done an insertion. Similarly, if it is not equal to zero, basically means that there is an updation scenario. So I have gone ahead and done an update a lead, right? Now what I've done is there's a trick to both of these. So first go for, let's go for uh, our, uh, uh, add a new lead first, right? So I'm just going to click in. 
and then we are going to expand on this a bit so yeah let me just expand on this yeah so what I'm doing is add a new lead I'm getting leads last name topic then I'm also mapping other fields from my triggered outputs like city and etc let's take an example of last lead first last name first so last name queries bracket last name then similarly for topic queries topic whatever is being passed in that parameter the next is the response right so we are using a response action I'm giving a 200 back saying lead and that particular lead ID got created successfully now how I'm making sure that this is actually going to dataverse that is the trick that you need to be uh, acquainted with I have done and used configure run after if you click on configure run after I can choose one of the steps and then say if it is successful then only go ahead and do that that is the same trick being utilized for the other one but in this case in the updation you need the lead UID so that's what we had formed earlier I will just uh, I'll just want to expand on this particular step on the no condition so here lead UID which we had expanded in the step before and then I'm going ahead and last name topics in the same way the same response which is configured to run after but here it is saying updated successfully so isn't it a cool way of creating this particular uh, kinds of flows in a low code way I hope that is useful to you and you're going to utilize this in your particular implementations going forward power physics defying as usual guys let's continue to learn and if you have any of the needs on Dynamics 365 or Power Platform, feel free to re reach out to us here at Dynamicity. Take care, continue to learn.